we'll move on to our next fight of the I'm night. I'm very excited about this match myself. Igor Volchanchin against Adilson Lima Bita. Both 200 pounds, both 5'10". One incredible kickboxer against a great jiu-jitsu man. Brazil versus Russia. I think this fight is going to be one of a kind. Yeah, boy, this one's too tough to call. Definitely two totally contrasting styles. As we've seen here tonight, a lot of these fighters, it was too tough to decide which was going to be the best sport. Really, Sambo claims to be this best. Kickboxers say they're the best. Jiu-Jitsu men say they're the best. But really, it's been the individual fighter with the big heart, with the big sense of will not be defeated that is coming here and has been the champion thus far. There we go, Peter, the man that looks like Hicks and Gracie. Quite a compliment here. He'd love to hear that from you. If he can win this one, then we'll compare. If he doesn't get by Vov Chechen, I think we're gonna have to downgrade him a little bit. Vov Chechen seems to be a little nervous. Yeah, you can see it in him. I mean, he knows he's fighting a very tough Brazilian fighter. Only a few Brazilians coming here for the tournament, and they are tough ones. This match is gonna be very simple. We're gonna have Bita, the guy with the black trunks, trying to take the guy with the red trunks down, and the guy with the red trunks trying to move around and, and, and go for the knockout either by, by knee, by kick, or punch. They show a little bit of respect. And they'll get going. You see Bob Chenchin constantly just pawing with the left hands, he looks for that big right, and I have seen that knock out some big fellas. Yeah, he's a, he has had a great kickboxing career. 62 matches. Great legs and great hands. That's it. Usually he'd work off that jab a little more, but you'll see in no holds bar, he uses it as a paw, especially against a great jiu-jitsu fighter. He does not want to get Lima a chance to close the distance and take him, him down, where, where it's a place where He's not very familiar with it. He's setting up for that big right hand. Lima's got to be very careful. He doesn't get caught with that. Nice punch, and you see how he goes crazy. Beautiful punches by Von Chechen. Oh, a nice flurry, and oh down goes God. Lima. He was rocked. Oh, to the back of the head, a kick. Lima's out. Then in comes a towel. Wow, that was excitement right there. Listen Unbelievable, to the Greg Freeman. I told you, you, you better expect than expected in this fight. Oh, 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 let's look at that one more time. He tries to close the distance, unable to get the hands on, but Chechen with a flurry of punches. A great kicker, a great puncher, puts the head down. A kick, a knee actually to the side of the head there. A punch, he was actually, I think he was pretty much stunned at that point. One on the back of the head, a kick to the face, kick underneath, and in comes the towel. He was hurt, hurt badly, and we'll look at it one more time. His corner is complaining though, Hobson Gracie feels that they shouldn't be kicked on the ground. I don't know what, what agreements they had before the match, but that's what Hobson Grace is complaining. They, but they, actually, he was up. He rolled back up, and then he took the, the, it was a shin to the face that really was a devastating punch. And we'll look at it again. There he took a kick, but that wasn't the one that did it. He was already in big, big trouble. Hobson Grace, he could be upset all he wants. Have Chechen in there for the fight of his life. He fought a beautiful fight. When the fighter tried to close the distance, he put his head down, did not let him get his body on him. Lima's a little bit still confused, not, not quite knowing where he's at. Bob Chechen will move on to the semifinals. But here at ringside, we have uh, Hobson Gracie complaining to Alexander Inshakov, the producer of the show. And uh, that's how Inshakov with the ponytail. And uh, to George Volchanchin, the promoter of the show. They, they claim that the kick to the ground was unfair. Both hands on Hobson showing a lot of anger with the decision. Bob Chechen, as we've met him on a few occasions, as I've met him on a few occasions, a real friendly guy. Very sweet kid. But when you get in the ring, the adrenaline's flowing and it's really hard to stop. You don't really know what you're doing. So Bita goes back to the, to, goes back to the dressing room, gets checked by the doctor and, and the producer, Alexander Shakov, allows him to come back and show and display his skills. Unbelievable that this has went on. I this agree. Is, this, is, this is the respect that these Brazilian fighters have here. Uh, 
the Russian fighters not wanting to say, hey, we don't deserve it. They're letting the guy come back into the ring. Brazil should be very happy that this is happening. And uh, hopefully this guy doesn't really get hurt here. Yes, but Greg, I, I don't think this... He's got to close the distance quick here. Lima cannot afford to take too much more punishment. You... One more of those, and he's in big trouble. But you can tell he's already slower. I mean, who can afford to take three, four incredible blows to the head and come back and fight again? I don't know. He looks pretty aggressive to me. In my opinion, was not a good move in his behalf. Yeah, I think his corner is a little crazy. He had, I guarantee he's got a, at least a minor concussion from the shots he took there. Von Chechen, we saw him work in the bag the other day, and boy, he has some power. Unbelievable. Very good right hands, like you said. And, yeah. he, and he's setting it up for that. Yeah, now you, we have Adilson Lima Bita, the jiu-jitsu man with the black trunks, very afraid to close the distance. He's very skeptical. He knows, I mean, he had a, a taste of off-judging fists. And his knees. Absolutely. Bob Chechen's got a lot of confidence now. He's a little bit up on his toes, willing to throw some combinations. You'll see he likes to mix, go from lefty to righty. He's a very versatile fighter. He's got a lot to offer standing. And he uses that jab just to psych the fighter and almost tell him, come on, shoot, shoot. And he waits, waits for the fighter that... Oh, a nice over overhand right. Unbelievable. He's on got, the air. He's got incredible right hands. It's almost like he fights only for that right hand. Yeah, in no holds barred, it appears that way. It really does. Nice kick. He's really fighting a beautiful fight. I really like this kid. He's really impressing me. Nice left hook there. Absolutely. He's got the right weight. With his frame, he can build a little bit of, of weight. I think this kid is... He's got a future in the no holds barred. If he does win this fight, he will fight a fellow Russian, Mikhail Iglyuhin. Uh, Vovchanch is from Kharkov, Ukraine, the kickboxer. But they stopped the match. It looks like Vita has a broken nose. We're taking a look at... He thinks he won. Fighter. <laughs> but no, he's got a broken right. We can easily tell. Look how crooked his nose is. Yeah, he took some good shots there. <laughs> but the Brazilians, the tough fighters that they are, your people, Frederico Lapenda, really coming here with the hearts of champions, not willing to go home, really knocked out early on in... in in the beginning of this fight, but coming back with the, with, I mean, he was rocked. What kind of people do that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they. I don't know. I don't think it was a very smart move. Yeah, but uh, a tremendous amount of heart in this young fighter. A lot of pride. They're checking him closely. I would count two losses in his career, and he's he's trained a hands of grace. He says he's got a broken nose. He cannot continue, and hops on his dead agrees. From his own corner, the word is no. He cannot continue broken noise. And we can easily tell that. Yeah, that thing almost looks like... Yeah, he, he's in some serious pain. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And Hanzo yeah. says, yeah. stop it, I'm yeah. responding. He doesn't want to see fight and really get hurt. This guy's got a career, potentially no holds bar. Let him come back and fight another day. I think they're doing the right here thing as well. Very smart move. And we'll, 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 we'll advance for the next fight of the evening. He is our champion, not champion, but both champion at defense, and he fights Mikhail Iglyuhin in the last match. In the next match, I should say. Thank you. Because then the fight of that will go on to fight in the next category. What a fighting tournament here tonight. Two 16-man tournament. Only in Russia, Greg. Unbelievable. These guys really are tough. They cannot get enough of this fighting business. And as you'll see, sports fans, we'll look at this one again in slow motion. A nice kick, he's just setting him up there. That's just to keep him off balance. A nice left hook there, and that's the one that broke the nose. Was that the one? That was it. Grazed right off the side of the nose. I've had that happen to me once or twice. You look at it, there's the overhand right off the ear, but it was the left hook. 